Yo YouTube, it's your boy Premier back today with another banger and in today's video we're going to be going over how to get two, three, four times rep, how to get infected during Puma Mania. First things first though, before you get too far into the video, smash that like button if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you're new, we're on the grind of 15k and make sure to turn the post studies on so you don't miss the next banger. Now, first things first, you need to look at your map by pressing select or the back button, whatever it is for you and your console, just pull up the map, scroll down with the D-pad. All right, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over it real quick. I just wanna make sure there's no confusion here at all. Just first things first, the first thing you're going to need to do, I know I just said first like three times, please excuse that. Just doing a one take comm, it's four in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. Just wanted to get that video, this video out as, you, as soon as possible to y'all. That's why there's just, it is what it is. But you need to go ahead and press select. You need to press the back button, whatever it is for you. As soon as Puma Mania pops up, just showing you I'm recording this video three, four in the morning. But whenever this pops up, whenever Puma Mania is active for you, which it should be as the time you're seeing this video, you need to press select, you need to press the back button, and you need to find Puma Mania. The way you do that, after you press the select or back button, you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're going to find Puma uh, the puma store you're going to need some type of puma clothing whether it's a shirt a sock a shoe a t-shirt a joggers just whatever it is puma everything i don't care bro you can use one puma thing two puma things you just need something from puma mania and then you're going to be green light you're going to be able to get your two times rep but if you want the four times rep we're going to be talking about that how to get that in this video as well Two times rep you're going to get here on day one. It's the ninth. All of October 9th, you are going to be getting two times rep. Now, if you're like me and hawking and on the game at 2-3 in the morning, activating your two times rep as soon as possible, four times rep is going to kick in on the 11th at the exact time my two times rep kicked in, and the same for three times rep. So as you can see, as soon as I equip those Puma socks there and I walk outside the store, my Puma Mania logo has came up. Once you see the Puma Mania logo, all you have to do is play a few games. But this is just another method that I wanted to show y'all. A lot of people probably are just like, oh, Puma Mania 234 times rep. They're probably not even thinking. Well, it's chess out here, man. It's not checkers. I'm thinking about four, five, six times rep. You know, can I sneak at eight times rep in there? You know, like I, I seen Double H do it during 2K, I think it was 20. I'll never forget that eight times rep. That was literally insane. So if you haven't already, make sure to go do your wheel spin whenever you get your Puma, whenever you put on your clothing, I, I know I didn't get the two times rep, but imagine if you did and it stacks and then you have coins and then you have Puma. Dude, uh, the amount of XP you can get out of Puma. I am literally a level 10 as of October 9th, 2021. By the end of this weekend, I'm going to be a level 40. I plan, I'm about to hit level 39 on current gen. I'm going to go out there, play a little bit of Treasure Island, and I'm going to be playing four times rep. But from here, just find your park, Wildcats, Vipers, uh, Beast of the East, Knights, whatever city you're from just find your park from here and go to the park and ball out it, it's really that simple there's not that much to it um that's basically the puma method that's how you're going to get two three four times rep but something i do want to talk about though is the rep method as well in next gen i think it's still based off a of teammate grade flashies uh I, I know lobs still work as well i know that's really good rep but on current 100%, you need to be throwing lobs. If you're if you're playing with a teammate who's isoing, you're not going to get that much rep. And in this gameplay that I'm about to show y'all, this is not the best rep method. This is being on 3 in the morning. You know, it is what it is. We're playing two level 40s this game, too. It's just like, ah, oh, man. This is our first game on, too, bro. It's just like not what you want to deal with. Middle of the night, like... You're seeing the one percentage. It's like an 89. I don't even care about my one percentage, but like it's it, it, it's still, bro. You don't like you don't want to be sweating at three in the morning, bro. They get a three early. It's it, it, it's tough, but it, say we weren't playing sweats, then the whole reason you don't want to play sweats during Puma is so you get maximum rep. I like. Do we want to be running pick and rolls and hitting the slip? No. He wants to. I want to be able to throw flashies. Uh, he he wants to be able to throw me lobs. Like you know what I mean? Like. Oh, locks in the lanes. Dude is a pistol. Come on. He almost throws the Steve. Oh, let's see what six does. Oh, come on now, baby. Big body coming through it. I tip it, baby. That's tough. That's tough. Went for the chase down. Well, pretty unlucky there. It is what it is, though. Getting the ball into six. 
like I said, if we were playing for rep, I would be sitting block probably. And I think at some point in this gameplay, it, he's just not, they're playing sides on him with two really tall players and he's just having some trouble getting open at some point. If you're playing for rep, I just want to make it clear. And by the way, my boy, somebody who was on his account, they put on jump shot 70. He was like, what is going on, bro? That is not my jump shot. He rocks base three. If you sweat the game, you can tell that was not base three. That was bad, my man. Somebody was on his account and put on jump shot 70. It, it was just tough, bro. 7-2. It's, it's just looking bad. It's looking bad. But 6 with the peak. Come on now. He hit the little shimmy. Come on now. 7-5. to five. We're working your way back in. Basically, though, win the game. You know, if it comes down, you're playing sweaty people like this. Just try to win the game. If you're playing... Oh, and then give me that chase down. I wanted the intimidator. The chase downs and intimidator in this game, it honestly has to be addressed. Now watch, I go to the corner here. At this point, Six gets the three, he's double teamed. I don't know how he couldn't do that behind the screen, but he does when he's double teamed and I'm in the corner. It makes no sense, but whatever. Um, at some point you're gonna see, we're just, he wasn't feeling it with the screens. I just literally, as you can see there, I, I went to the corner and I think I ended up shooting. I don't know if it's in this gameplay, but I did end up shooting. I was like, whatever, bro. I'm shooting it, bro. This game's over. <laughs> if they're gonna leave me over, I'm shooting. I almost green it too, is a crazy thing. I have a 25 three ball on this build, but this is hands down the best inside center. This is a, a shack, this a, a shack diesel, a barbecue chicken type of build. I'm a, I'm a post scoring Damon in six, working out, getting a three there. Big grum rain, eh? Big grum rain, eh? But I never thought I'd say this. I'm a post scoring Damon. I have no post hook specialist. I'm not even running post scoring takeover. And man, the animation the, just. I never knew it was this easy to be a post scorer, bro. I, I knew it was hard to guard, but I didn't think it was this easy to be a post scorer. And six just getting backdoored and just body slammed. You know, like it's, it's what do you, how do you guard that as a 6 2 guard? He is on a 6 2 2. This guard he has here, uh, as you can see, I fade to the corner right here. Just trying to make it happen. Locks ends up going back door. Oh, and that. That guard is just Chan Bailey, Darrell Revis in his prime, and this kid hits it in the corner. Oh, man, it's. It's looking tough, boys. It's looking tough. Uh, I do know Six ends up getting a three here this next possession. Not exactly sure how this game turned out, but basically just get your Puma. Go out there and hoop. Does he hit it? Ah, I get the board. I'm a day, man. Come on, Locks. Give me three. Give me three. Come on, give me three. Like the video. Comment, subscribe. Tell me what video y'all want to see next. It's your boy Premier, and I'm out, man. Peace. It's getting hard to keep composure. They keep trying me. I came from nothing. Now they bumping my songs. I remember when I first started, they do